Assembling your Pennington Aqua Garden Half Moon Raised Pond is simple. This short video will take you through construction step by step. If you need any more advice, check the assembly instructions in your carton. First, identify a suitable area where your window pond can be positioned. Ensure that the area is level with a firm base and is free from stones or any other debris that could damage the liner bag. Remove all of the relevant parts from the packaging and double check that all of the items are enclosed. Use the complete parts list and the exploded diagram to check. Lay out the underlay over the cleaned area, ensuring it covers the entire space where the liner will sit. This underlay is very important as it protects your liner bag from puncture or damage and prevents unwanted leaks. From here on, you'll be building the main frame of your pond upside down and turning it over toward the end. Each top rail is labeled so you can fit them correctly. Connect all the top rails and all the trident connectors into a half moon shape. Ensure the bottom oval hole is completely free and that the top rail is correctly inserted. Once fitted, the half moon frame will look like this. Next, insert the legs into the trident connectors, making sure the cut in section is not inserted first but is still visible at the top. Make sure the legs are firmly pushed in to line up with the oval holes. The 180 degree leg fits the flat trident connector. The two 90 degree legs fit the 90 degree trident connectors and the 135 degree legs fit the 135 degree trident connectors. Once all seven of the legs are inserted correctly, count out 14 of the plastic keys and insert them into each of the oval holes at the base of all the tridents on both sides. That's two per trident. Using the supplied tool, turn the keys a quarter turn so they lay flat and lock into position. For the 90 degree corner leg, use the bent end of the tool to help access the turn. Continue to do this to all 14 keys around the base of the pond until all seven legs are firmly connected to all seven of the trident connectors. Now, identify the window panels labeled A and slot them into the corresponding A top rails. Wet the panel to lubricate the edges and aid easy insertion. It's important that the panels are correctly positioned to ensure they line up with the liner bag windows. The windows are fixed in position in the liner and therefore the panels must be fitted to match. Ensure the panels are also facing the correct way and the right way up, with the window frame to the outside, the window closer to the rail, and the label to the inside. Using both hands, carefully slide the panels down the grooves in the legs. Make sure the top edge of the panel is covered by the top rail. Fit panels B to the side legs and C to the back legs. Now fit the leg cross braces to match with the corresponding panels. These are also labeled A, B, and C. There should be 14 plastic keys remaining. Insert two of them to each of the seven legs, leaving them unlocked until all keys are loosely in place. Make sure the cross braces are the right way around. These are again labeled to help you position them correctly. The technique for fitting part C is to pull the leg back slightly to fit the key, not to stretch the legs apart. Once all the cross braces are in position and keys have been inserted, turn them a quarter turn to lock in place using the tool provided. Now add the four supports to the pond frame. Push fit them into place using the fixing pins. Again, make sure these bars are installed the right way around by taking note of the labels. Next, fit the feet to the bottom of the legs. Add the strengthening wires by hooking the loop over the correct feet. 
Remove all the panel labels at this point as they will be inaccessible once the liner is in place and will show through the Textiline panels. Turn the built pond over and stand it in its final position, checking that the feet and wire are still in position and that the pond stands level and correct. Open out the liner bag and insert it into the pond, lining all the windows up with the window panels. Once it is in the correct position, hook the liner eyelets over the trident hooks. These fit by pushing the eyelet to the back at a 90 degree angle and fold it down to hook in place. Leave one hook undone at this stage to allow the cables to pass between the liner and panels in the next step. Once you have put your in-pond all-in-one parts together, there's another film that deals with this. Place it inside the pond and thread the low voltage pump cable and the UVC cable between the liner bag and the panels. Don't turn on the in-pond just yet. Now hook the remaining liner eyelet to the frame. Next, fit the waterfall to the window pond by putting it on the center line between the two back top rails. Gently turn the two screw feet until they are hand tight. Make sure you don't over tighten them as you could damage your waterfall. For more detailed fitting of the waterfall to the in pond, see the fitting your waterfall film. You can now remove the protective window films. Now that the window pond is in place, the underlay can be neatly folded and tucked under the liner bag, ensuring that the bag is completely protected from the ground. This is done by slightly lifting up the pond to allow you to fold and push the underlay under the panels and the liner bag. Two planting baskets and four fixing pins are supplied which can be fitted to panels on the window pond. The ideal position is the back panels, or if you prefer, the rear side panels. Push the fixing pins through the holes on the planting baskets, then push fit into the hole under the rail, attaching the basket into place. This is easier to do before filling the pond. Each top rail has two center holes underneath that allow the planting basket to be pinned in with the fixing pins. Before you begin to fill with water, double check the strengthening wire is still in place and fitted on the foot, not above it. Now you can fill your pond from a hose. If you plan to keep fish, you must treat the water with water conditioner to make it safe. Fill up to the eyelets. Once the pond is filled, you can turn on the in-pond all-in-one. If you plan to introduce fish, we recommend you leave the system to settle and the temperature to stabilize for 24 to 48 hours. However, you can plant the baskets right away. For replacement filter and window pads, see the website for details. So that's it. Your Half Moon Pond is now finished. All you need to do is sit back and enjoy. <laughs>